that when I went to school, I learned French. So welcome to Europe. As they say uh, in uh, England and Scotland, where my grandparents are from, across the pond. So here we have the United States, and here we have Europe, and we come across the pond. They call the pond the Atlantic Ocean. Welcome to my tea party. One of the very important things for my grandmother, my Nana Ridyard, was having tea. And so I thought we would explain how they do it in Scotland. So they would have this thing that is called a tea ball and you open it and into the tea ball you have tea leaves and you would scoop, depending on how many people, you would scoop the tea leaves into the tea ball, close it up, and then you put it into your teapot and you pour your boiling water into the teapot. Now, because some of those tea leaves come out of the tea ball, you need to take your milk or your creamer and you pour that into your cup first and then you pour your tea in and the tea leaves stay on the bottom instead of floating on the top because the tea leaves are kind of gross. Men in Scotland, they would ask you how much sugar. So one lump or two. So one lump or two lumps of sugar. And then you would stir it up. That's the kind of tea that I grew up with learning from my grandmother. Oh, I forgot my napkin. You would always wear a cloth napkin to keep your outfit nice and clean. And you see today I have biscuits. We don't have cookies in Scotland. We have biscuits with our tea. Delicious. Wanted to teach you some other fun things about Europe. If you are in England or Scotland, you do not live in a house. You live in a bailiwick. And your car goes into a carriage house, not a garage. You put petrol in your car to make it work, not gasoline. If you don't live in a bailiwick, maybe you live in a flat. Flat is another word for an apartment. And uh, they do not have bathrooms. Sorry, you have to go to the water closet. And those are some fun things about England, Scotland, where my ancestors are from. How lovely is the evening is a round from Europe and it is sung in English. It comes from Eng the country of England. The first part, my turn. Oh, how lovely is the evening. That's part two. When the bells are sweetly. Your turn. My turn. Ringing sweetly, ringing. Your turn. Part three. Simple. Ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Oh, how lovely is the evening, is the evening when the bells are sweetly ringing, sweetly ringing. don't have any bells at home so find three glasses and fill them with water one has the most water one is medium and then one has only about half full of water and when you play them they should sound like me ray do now for this song we're going to just take that one away 
and we're only going to play the low notes and the high notes. When you sing around and you have two groups, you sing the whole song two times. So we'll start singing together and then the other Mrs. Monaghan will sing and then we will join in after the whole first phrase. We'll sing the entire song two times and the other Mrs. Monaghan will stop singing and then we will finish.
It's fun to dance so. Come join in the dancing, the dancing, the dancing. Come join in the dancing with Rose on her knee. We will dance the whole day long. Of this joyous lilting song, it's fun to dance so. two sections, the step together and the turning part. 